What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be ranking every Battlefield game. Let's get right into this. So Battlefield is one of my favorite series. I think it's a more realistic war video game as opposed to Call of Duty, and I absolutely love the current games. The Battlefield 1, which is when it really got me back into it, and also Battlefield 5, and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. So since I'm such a huge fan of the Battlefield franchise, I want to go and rank every Battlefield game. So let's get this started. The first Battlefield game is Battlefield 1942. It was released in 2002, and it was only released for PC. Battlefield has not come to consoles yet. You could play as the Scout class, Assault, Anti-Tank, Medic, and Engineer. So it was a lot of fun. It had a lot of different things you could do, just like the current Battlefield games. You could also fly World War II fighter aircrafts and bombers, navigate ships, submarines, aircrafts, carriers, drive tanks, jeeps, and so much more. So even though it was a PC game, it had a lot of different things you could do, which made it more realistic to the war. For this game here, I'm going to make it, I'm going to rank it about 6 out of 10. The next game is Battlefield Vietnam. It was released in 2004, and once again, it was only released on PC, not yet on consoles. The gameplay included two teams, the US and the North Vietnamese teams. Team US relied on heavy tanks, helicopters, and bombers where the Vietnamese team relied on anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons, much like actual conditions of the Vietnamese war. So this game here, because they were really doing it and making it so realistic to what actually occurred during the war, I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10. The next game is Battlefield 2, which was released in 2005. Now this game was released on PC, but it did have a standalone expansion that was later released on consoles called Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. The story takes place in the early 21st century in a fictional war between different nations. It includes the Middle East and China, basically facing off against the US and EU forces. This game here, since it is fictional, I'm not going to rank it too high because it's not based on realistic war, but I'm going to rank it pretty decent. I'm going to rank it 7 out of 10. The next game is Battlefield 2142, which was released in 2006. This game is set in the year 2142, as you could probably tell, during a new ice age. The EU and Asian coalition battle for the remaining frozen land in the war, known as the Cold War of the 22nd century. Now this game was designed for multiplayer and it included a max of 64 players battling each other or 16 players battling bots. For this game here, I'm going to rank it 6.5 out of 10. The next game is Battlefield Bad Company, which was released in 2008. Players in this game controlled Private Preston Marlowe and his plan to steal gold from the mercenaries along with his squad amidst a war between the United States and Russia. For this, it included tanks, helicopters, patrol boats, and more, and multiplayer had up to 24 players in Gold Rush mode and attackers versus defenders game. So it seems like it could have been a different approach to a war game, but... I'm only going to rank it a 6.5 out of 10. It's not what I expected for the game. Next up is Battlefield 1943. It was released in 2009 and it is set in World War II and it had only online multiplayer. For this game, you switch sides between the United States and Japanese navies. You had three classes, infantry, rifle, and scouts, and it included only two game modes, which is one of my favorite ones, which is Conquest. For this game here, even though it did not include a story mode and was only online, I'm going to rank it pretty decent. I'm going to rank it 7 out of 10. I just wish they did include a story mode for this game. The next game is Battlefield Bad Company 2. is released in 2010, and it is set in a modern warfare setting. You continue the story of Private Preston Marlowe from the first Bad Company game. Multiplayer scene for classes, Assault, Engineer, Medic, and Recon, and included five game modes. Conquest, Onslaught, Rush, Squad Deathmatch, and Squad Rush. This game here, it wasn't in my opinion the greatest, so I'm only going to rank it a 6 out of 10. The next game is Battlefield 3, it was released in 2011. In campaign, players take on the role of several different military personnel. 
Multiplayer has seen a return of 64 player battles, which included a new co-op mode. This game here, honestly, in my opinion, did not have a lot going for it, and I didn't really care for this game. I'm only going to rank it a 5 out of 10, to be honest with you. The next game is Battlefield 4, which was released in 2013. It had a short single-player campaign mode. Graphics, however, were improved, but online did have numerous bugs and glitches. Now, even though the story was really short, it was very interesting and I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I'm not going to rank it very high just because online did have a few bugs and it was a short campaign, but because the campaign I did like it, I'm going to rank it a 6 out of 10. The next game is Battlefield Hardline which came out in 2015 and this is the first game in the series not to be set and based on military and war, which for me... I didn't really care for, I did not appreciate that. I wanted the traditional Battlefield series. This game was just not that. This game instead focused on the war on crime with police special units and criminals, which I didn't really enjoy. The story was short, but it had a plot of a movie rather than a game. I just, honestly, everything for this game, I didn't like. And in this game, you had a lot of stealth options, but you knew exactly where the enemies were going to be at all times. So, of course, you can go and maneuver around them without being seen, because you know where they are. You get to scan the area, and you pinpoint exactly where they are. For me, I just didn't really care for this game. I did not enjoy it. Personally, I'm going to rank it a 4 out of 10. It's just they could have done a lot better. They could have stuck to military games like they have in the past. So I didn't really care for this game. The next game is Battlefield 1, which was released in 2016. And this is the game that started to regain my hope for the franchise because they went back to their roots with a World War One based game. Of course, with modern day graphics of current modern day games, which I thought was a huge huge plus for them they did a lot of great stuff with the mechanics and i absolutely loved this game campaign mode included six separate war stories which were based on actual war stories that occurred in world war one and they were very emotional very well put together and i absolutely loved the story mode for this game online included large maps from world war one battles and it included Conquest, which was a large 64-player match, which included 1,000 soldiers per side, making it absolutely great for sniping with the large maps. This game really got me back into the franchise, and from now on, hopefully I'm going to stick with Battlefield over Call of Duty. I don't play Call of Duty anymore. I haven't played Call of Duty for years. I prefer Battlefield, because to me, it's more of a realistic experience with war and they did a hell of a job with this game really making an improvement from prior years because they were on their downfall with battlefield 3 battlefield 4 and battlefield hardline to come back with battlefield 1 to be such an amazing game based on world war 1 with modern day mechanics technology and everything that is still world war 1 in it and the war stories for campaign I'm going to rank it a whopping 9 out of 10. They really made a great comeback with this game. And the last Battlefield game that has been released, and hopefully I heard next year there's going to be another Battlefield game. It's supposed to take an approach of a modern day game, but the last one that is, was released was Battlefield 5, and it was released in 2018. Now, just like the last game, Battlefield 1, it does take the same approach, but it is based on World War II, and once again, they did a hell of a job. The graphics were insane where the locations are for the World War II battles that they put in the game were insane, and they also included a ton of updates, making a lot more locations since the game's released. I think for the past two years that it's been released, they've been adding a lot more content with DLCs, and a lot of free DLCs as well, basically extending the maps and making new areas, and it was very interesting, and I'm very thankful that they did that, because a lot of times it's always paid DLC, they did do a lot of updates where they made a lot more content for free. Now for campaign, once again, they did include actual war stories from World War II. However, they only put four in the game, but each of them were longer than the last game. So each war story was a little bit longer, which made it way more enjoyable. I absolutely love them. And online maps were, once again, very large maps, which were great for sniping. I absolutely loved playing Conquest but they were based on World War II battles. So 
It was a lot of fun to go in and play during with basically modern day graphics and mechanics in World War One and Two games, which is why Battlefield One and Battlefield Five, in my opinion, are the best in the Battlefield series. They definitely improve. They definitely are really upping the game. And this one here, Battlefield Five, I'm gonna once again rank it a whopping nine out of ten. The last two Battlefield games that were released are the best in the series, in my opinion. Now, once again, like I've already mentioned, there's rumor that the next Battlefield game is going to be coming out next year. Typically, they've been doing every two years for Battlefield games. The next one, when it releases, it's supposed to be three years after Battlefield 5 was released, which means that hopefully they're going to be putting a lot more things in it and it's going to be a really hell of a game. But it's rumored to be based on modern warfare, which I 100% can get behind if they do it right. And I think they're really going to have an advantage over Call of Duty because Call of Duty for years has been going more futuristic with modern warfare. They just went back to being more of a modern warfare style game, but I could see Call of Duty sticking with futuristic games in the future. So if Battlefield comes out with a modern war, modern warfare style game, modern military game, I really think they can really up it and start to push it and do a lot more better than Call of Duty like they are in recent years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me ranking every Battlefield game. Comment down below how you would rank the Battlefield games. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.